Okay. We, we, we're in the section that the, the, the ends justify the means, and as long as it's moral, ethical, legal, and you're not hurting anybody on person, uh, on purpose, excuse me, um, the, uh, uh, maybe in person, but not on purpose, uh, it's okay. Uh, we've just uh, had our um, uh, one of the uh, things that you walk away with um, uh, in, uh, from the seminar is called the risk taker, a uh, QLA risk taker, which um, many people have used to put on the mirror when they shave or when they're doing their makeup, etc. And it's very uh, um, successful. Uh, it's been successfully used. Uh, earlier today, we did um, the. Um, Role play, uh, several, we did a couple role plays, uh, and uh, during the day we did a uh, live stream of a, um, one of my mentees, successful mentees, uh, Dominic uh, from Switzerland, uh, who has put together his board uh, and uh, is uh, in, uh, had attended the October seminar to give the kids a different flavor for, you know, different personalities. Um, and uh, we're in the section that ends justify the means. Now, I get asked the question by uh, YouTubers, a lot of people, and I've already uh, mentioned it before, you know, uh, what about my family, what about a uh, balanced life, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I, I've, I've used this slide, which has come up three or four times so far, we're only in the end of the third day, that Jack Welch said about 20, 25 years ago, there's no such thing as a balanced life, there are uh, work life uh, choices and they have consequences. He says it much nicer than I do. But Napoleon Hill talked about it in a di slightly different way 70 years ago or however long. And the, um, when uh, Napoleon Hill was um, asked to write uh, by uh, Andrew Carnegie after a two or three day interview over the weekend at his big mansion in Knob Hill, uh, he asked, um, uh, Andrew Carnegie asked, uh, Napoleon Hill, uh, would you like to uh, memorialize, would you like to write, you know, the history of uh, successful people, or however he phrased it. And uh, he pulled out his pocket watch, as legend has it. Now, all these guys that are uh, uh, history buffs and minutia, manure uh, manufacturers here that are my uh, mentees at the seminar, uh, and he looked at his watch and he asked the question of Napoleon Hill, and he says, well, Napoleon, Mr. Hill, you know, uh, you know what's your answer? It took, uh, now, what Napoleon Hill didn't know is he was giving him 60 seconds to answer, 60. Uh, Napoleon Hill, as legend has it, supposedly took 26 seconds to answer, yes. I want to memorialize this uh, for time eternal, etc. Then he dropped the other shoe. It's going to probably take you 20 years, whatever, and you're going to get paid no money to do it, which is much like life. You get the rest of the facts have to accept, uh, pointing to a, a Dutch lawyer here in the front row. Uh, and, uh, you know, the rest is more or less history. And uh, one of the things um, that he found when he's writing this book, and allegedly he interviewed some 500 people. It would have taken me four, five, eight people, ten people maximum I would have interviewed, and it would have took me, taken me 20 fucking years for sure. Uh, and uh, somehow I would have weaseled out making some money somehow. I would have done a blog fuck, or I would have done something, you know, I would have done a pod fuck, and, uh, you know, to make a few shekel in the meantime. But, in his interviewing of these people, he found several things, and this relates back to work-life balance, and can I spend my kids and do the, go to the legal, Little League games and all the bullshit. The only man of 500 Napoleon Hill interviewed to have almost total peace of mind, and I equate that from 70, 80, 90 years ago to balance almost, total peace of mind, uh, were three out of 500. Mr. Burroughs, Mr. Edison, and Carnegie himself until he became obsessed with giving all his money away. Now that's three people out of 500. Three YouTubers. Now that's a pretty small fraction. So as far as I'm concerned, it's zero. It's, if you round it off, it's zero. This is the richest guy's 500 richest friends. Zero. I'm going to say it again. Fucking zero. 
So the next time one of you cocksuckers writes me about balanced life, I'm going to personally fly to your city and fucking choke you. Or I'm going to, I'm going to send uh, the uh, kebab man here to go choke you because he's bigger than me. The answer is no. And if you're looking for a balanced life, this is not the fucking program for you. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> the answer is no. And if that's what you're looking for, this is not the fucking program for you. It's not. Yet we have 23 souls here. Are there souls in the Quran? Do they call them souls? Yeah, yeah okay. We have 23 souls. I'm going Buddha. Or not Buddha, I'm going Muslim now. I'm going fucking Muslim. Once you go Muslim, you never go back. So anyway. Uh, and, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, the guy that locked himself in the fucking gym last night. <laughs> and, and all these years, we've never had anybody lock himself in the goddamn gym. But that's a whole other story I don't want to get into. Uh, we used to have a jacuzzi in the gym. And, and that's why you're being saved up there in Carrington Cottage. Because some ugly shit used to happen when they had a jacuzzi here. Some ugly shit. But anyway, that's, uh, rumor has it. Legend has there was ugly shit in, uh, going on when we had a jacuzzi in the gym. Um, so, you know, uh, it's just, it's not possible. Uh, you can have balance after you create wealth. You know, Bill, in, Bill Gates' uh, life is a lot more balanced than it was while he was building Microsoft. Now that he's, uh, and his wife Melinda are heading up um, the Bill and M uh, Melinda Gates Foundation. But it's really important to understand that. And that's why this isn't for everybody. It's the only game in town, legally, where you can create wealth that would normally take you a generation or two uh, in a few years. And if that's what you want, this is, the right, this is the right model. In fact, in my judgment, it's the only model. Not just the right model, it's the only model. And now, after 23 years, we've got a lot, a lot of success. And we've got, you know, as these kids around here would tell you, I've got stories and I've got failure. They're more interested in the success stories, but I've got plenty of failure stories, too. Uh, and occasionally, I uh, interject one or two just uh, to make a point. But it is possible, whether you have no education or you've got high lofty education or whether you're from Switzerland or you're from South America. Uh, that's all I've got to say, YouTubers. Thank you. Good night. We'll see you in the morning.